Hi, so yesterday Parrot announced their new drone, the Anafi AI. A really, really important move forward. It's the first drone of its type and it's focused very, very much at the professional user. Now, obviously we're focused on a particular group of professional users, the, the military and defence. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go through the, the highlights of it and and sort of put it in context for, for, for defence. So to help me with that, I've got the actual launch video and I've made a few notes already uh, and I'll just talk you through it. So <laughs> the video kicks off looking at what the sort of the design innovation or inspirations, you know, and looking at how it's moving around different industrial sites and the fact that it's focused at the professional user. Um, you can also see the new camera system, which is really, really intriguing. You know, three three lenses, two of which that work together. Talks about the, the, the quality of the camera, 48 megapixel camera, awesome, awesome quality. The other thing is it flies with 4G. Now what that does means that essentially you can be at any distance uh, and it's got a new controller as well. Um, and there's a whole different extra pieces like lack of interference, more more secure, all that kind of good stuff. Um, on the on the drone's usage itself, you know, looking at photogrammetry, generating models, generating maps, it now works directly with 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 Pix4D Cloud, so it immediately generates those 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 uh, those models you need to do your job, or if you're doing for a recce. Equally, they've they've removed some of the some of the problems there, so it does one-click photogrammetry. So if you've got a particular target, it'll, it'll it'll follow that as well. Really, really interesting from that point of view. Autonomous flight. So those extra cameras give it all that sense, and it will move itself to get from point A to B, avoiding all the targets or anything that's in the way, sorry. Uh, and then also it will actually pick up different elements on, on the ground and, and show you how the, how they work, identify vehicles and people and all that kind of good stuff. So there's a, really a huge amount to, to go through there. The other thing, just going back to the camera, the gimbal itself is uh, fully up and fully down. So if you need to look under bridges or whatever, then then it can, it can do that. Finally, it can, you can teach it things. It's got a very, very open SDK um, that, that allows you to expand on its capabilities uh, and get it to look for certain things. So if you wanted to look on under a bridge for devices, for example, you can do. If you're using it to protect a particular area and look for certain things, it can do that as well. Um, it just takes a little bit of engagement on that to do that. So a very, very interesting uh, development, very, very interesting uh, product. It's a, it's a little bit bigger, um, it's 900 grams, um, but I think for me where I'm seeing real application here is, is within an urban environment, tracking uh, or identifying targets and information. Also, if you're looking for some, let's say you want to protect an airfield, because you're not constrained by your range, then actually you could have a drone a series of drones around the airfield several miles away and still be able to control that drone from a central central location so that's that's pretty cool actually um, the cool thing about 4G is essentially it's a mesh network it's mesh enabled which is a really, really important set of buzzwords I think for, for, for defense and how we do uh, situational awareness and communication so this is a drone that is showing that that capability is, is there it's a now capability so we look forward to seeing it actually available. It's a, it's a really interesting development. Uh, it's a first, um, so well done Parrot for doing that. Um, and as soon as we get to play with it, we'll give you a little bit more information.